time for a very special Thursday show. Someone's listening to me. Now I know how a radio feels. Hollywood stars like Olivia Wilde, Natalie Portman, Ellen DeGeneres, and wife Portia de Rossi have all sworn off animal products in favor of a vegan diet. Let's start off first with the proteins. What are some of the ways that vegans replace protein from meat? There are ways of getting protein in a vegan diet. And there's nothing worse yeah. than a vegan turning up at a barbecue. You know, when you go, here, there's burgers, sausages. Oh, I'm a vegan. I'm a yo-yo dieter. Yo, hot dog man. Yo, peanuts. <laughs> Why aren't you laughing? Don't you know what yo means? Hi, everybody, and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. Netflix refusal to show ads is a core part of their identity. The company has always maintained that killing ads provides a better experience for its subscribers and shows no signs of changing that position. And that stance has had an effect. In fact, it's led some cable networks to actually cut back on the amount of ads they show to lure back the younger Netflix generation. But exactly how many ads do people avoid by watching Netflix instead of TV? Streaming data site cordcutting.com recently crunched some numbers, and it turns out that each Netflix subscriber saves themselves about 160 hours of commercials per year. Sharon Osbourne is opening up about her split from husband Ozzy. The 63-year-old television personality discussed her future with the 67-year-old Black Sabbath singer on yesterday's episode of The Talk. I honestly, honestly... I'm empowered and I have found this inner strength and I'm like, right, okay. You kicked Ozzy out. Is that made up? No, it's true. Is he still out of the house? No, he's back and I'm out of the house. <laughs> I honestly, at this point today, have no idea what I'm going to be doing with the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. I don't know where I'm going, mm -hmm. who I'm going with, mm -hmm. and I just need time to think. I'm 63 years of age and I can't keep living like this. <laughs> And this just in, there is a woman out there who actually wanted to have sex with Ozzy Osbourne. Hey, not surprisingly, some dude came out recently claiming to be Prince's son and the heir to his fortune, obviously. But how can we know for sure? Introducing PrinceAncestry.com. Because, well, any of us could be his kid. First there was Ancestry.com. Now there's PrinceAncestry.com. Do you believe you are one of Prince's relatives? Just go to the main page, and under Prince, place your name. Keep in mind, it's a long and growing list of descendants, cousins, sisters, brothers, and others who claim to be related to Prince. There's even a guy in a Colorado prison who swears he's Prince's son. Daddy! And Michael Jackson's son, Prince, is even signed up. It's worth a shot. I can't find any paperwork on who my dad is. I mean, I have his name. I don't look like either one of them, so what the heck? PrinceAncestry.com Because sometimes people have a large family tree with lots of branches and leaves and nuts. A crying statue of the Virgin Mary in Fresno, California is being called a miracle. It's the kind of thing that makes you think there could actually be a god. Then you look at Trump and Hillary and you're like, nah, it's condensation or something. Documents were signed this week making the bison America's official national animal. It just narrowly edged out puppy monkey baby. Sci-Fi is working on a show about Superman's grandfather. Yeah, he wears his underwear outside his clothes too, just not on purpose. The latest research indicates that the use of artificial sweeteners by pregnant women possibly leads to them having children who will become overweight. And girls named Splenda. A woman in India became a first-time mother at 70 years of age. Doctors said mom and baby are doing fine and then vomited uncontrollably into the delivery room wastebasket. A new survey says margaritas are now the most popular cocktail in America. The least popular cocktail remains anyone given to you by Bill Cosby. 
Well, this is pretty progressive. Under a new New York City law, bars can no longer refuse to serve pregnant women. As long as they stay off the mechanical bull, I suppose. A new study ranks Germany as the best country in the world. The survey taken by people who've obviously never studied history. Time for Nobody Gives a Fuck. Black China turned 28 yesterday. 28 also happens to be the number of selfies she took while I read this sentence. Hey, I still can't figure out how to spell your name. Nobody gives a fuck. Gwyneth Paltrow's website is now selling a $15,000 solid gold sex toy. Yes, it's perfect for people who get off on hating poor people. Hey, Gwynny, and pun intended here, nobody gives a fuck. And Budweiser is going to replace their name on its bottles and cans with America for the summer. That's fine, but I'll just stick with my normal name for Budweiser, Goat Piss. Hey, worst beer in the known universe. Nobody gives a fuck. Thanks, everybody. We have a new episode of The Reynolds Report for you every weekday. Be sure to check out The Being Frank Show starring Frank D'Angelo. Live Tuesdays and Thursdays right here on NSS.